We've talked about doubt. Now let's talk about discouragement. It's something that happens to each of us in our lives at various times, and I do believe that Satan exploits those times to have a negative impact on our walk of faith and our influence upon others. <clears throat> it can be defined as a loss of confidence or a loss of enthusiasm or even a loss of courage. And some of the things that may bring discouragement in our life could be a fear, could be a loss, uh, a lack of direction, or some of us have difficulty in finding our purpose. There's a lack of purpose in our lives. And for me, one is a lack of control because I love to be able to have some control in my situations. I think of Joshua when they were preparing to go into the promised land and the Lord spoke to him. And he said, have not I commanded you to be strong and of a good courage? Do not be afraid, don't be dismayed, for I, the Lord your God, will be with you wherever you go. And that's for you and I today. The Holy Spirit going with us, that indefeatable, indomitable force that goes with us wherever we go. A couple examples I think of with discouragement were, one, the prophet Elijah. In uh, 1 Kings 18 and 19, he had challenged the prophets of Baal, uh, to call down fire upon the altar. And uh, they said, if it's your God, whichever God answers by fire, he'll be the God we worship. And of course, the Lord Jehovah answered. And Elijah had the prophets of Baal killed. Well, when Jezebel found out about this, she was quick to send a message to Elijah that just as you've done to the prophets of Baal, I'm gonna have done to you. Elijah became fearful and he ran. He found a juniper tree and under that juniper tree, he said he wished that he were dead. He then went on to the cave where he was so discouraged. And the Lord said, what are you doing here? And he says, the people of Israel, they've turned against you and I'm the only one left here that's for you. You're a jealous God. <clears throat> I also think of David when he and his men had returned to Ziklag and they found the city burned, the women and children, their families were taken captive. And in 1 Samuel chapter 30, it talks about they were greatly distressed. The people talked of stoning David. And in verse six, it said that David encouraged himself. Now, I've heard a lot through the years that talked about David as a shepherd boy, how he had carved into his staff about how he defeated the bear and defeated the lion. And he used those things in his staff, those carvings, to tell of the great things the Lord had done in his life. And they were things that he used to encourage himself. Well, a thing I learned from Dr. Edwin Lewis Cole was to document the things the Lord's doing in my life. When he... Uh, speaks to me when he uh, gives me a dream or a vision or when he answers a prayer or there's some great testimony. Write those things down immediately. And I found that when I do those things, I, I, I really detail the things and the events that happened. The longer you wait from the event, the occurrence, you don't catch as many details. You don't remember as many. And, you know, I really believe that our God is a God of specifics, a God of specificity. So I think we should pray in specifics, but I do believe that God answers in specifics. And I say that because uh, if you're journaling, <clears throat> when you write things down and you, and you look back a year later and you see the details of the blessing or the revelation or the testimony that you have, that just documents and pinpoints the hand of God more. When it's just a general testimony of, hey, he healed me. Well, you know, you may still believe that he healed you, but when you get the details of this door open and that person said this and this event happened and all those things come together and you see those written down, you really see the hand of God that really shows you and confirms beyond any shadow of a doubt. There's nobody saying, hey, this was just a coincidence. It's God was in the midst of it. So as I finish today, I just want to encourage each of you to um, detail the things that God's doing in your life. And when those times of encouragement come, yes, dig into the word of God. Spend time with the Lord. 
but go back and see and, 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 and reread the things of what the Lord has done in your life, the things he spoke to you, and you'll find that he is a God who is watching over you and meeting your every need when the enemy tries to bring doubt and discouragement. Hey, I love you guys. May the Lord bless you as you go. Father, give them fresh revelation day by day. These men, as they go, let their lives be a bountiful impact for the kingdom of God, that the name of the Lord Jesus would be glorified as we give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Hope is Alive channel and click here or here to watch more videos. Anytime you like.